fifth graders, this is Mr. Scro. I wanted to start off today in our warm up, continuing with what we talked about last week with having space, singing into space inside. So instead of the, whenever I'm like I'm talking right now, instead of just talking plainly, or I want you to try this exercise first. Um, so instead of going, hi, my name is Mr. Scro, and you'll insert your name. Hi, my name is Mr. Scro. Lots of space in there, all right? Today is, and whatever day it is, it's Wednesday whenever I'm making this uh, recording, Wednesday morning. Hello, this is Wednesday. So you have very tall. The other thing that you could think about is um, whenever you are giving lots of space, that it's very, it's, it feels like a yawn. And for some of you that are not used to doing this, it could trigger your yawning. And uh, whenever I was first learning about this, whenever I was a kid, uh, my music teacher used to say, if you do get triggered for a yawn, that's actually a really good thing because your body is doing the right thing. Because it's exact, it's a, basically a controlled yawn whenever you're doing this. Because in a yawn, oh, you have lots of space back there. So just to remind you what I talked about last week, the whole reason we have yaw that yawny feeling and we want to achieve that while we're singing is A, because it's the most healthy way to sing, and B, because you can tune your notes a lot better, and C, that it blends whenever you are, you're singing with other people. So I talk about a tall sound, the corners of the mouth are tucked in, they're not spread out. So instead of me, me, ma, ma, mu, it's more me, me, ma, ma, mu. So make sure you have that yawny sound. You might be asking, well, why are we, why are you teaching us to blend with people around us? We're not singing with anyone and presently in front of us. But the, the answer is that we will. We are going to come back. Sooner or later, we're going to be back and we're going to be singing with other people. And I'm very excited because I think it's sooner than later. I really do. I think that, it, that we have a chance this school year to be able to come back into school and to sing together. Of course, we'll probably have masks on at first, uh, socially distanced but we'll, we will be able to make music again in person. And I'm really excited about that. I miss it so much. It's been almost a whole year since we've been able to do something like this. So I'm, I'm hopeful. So that's why. So let's start with... slow then just drop out good and I, if you haven't done this already stand up whenever you're singing 
I'm sitting down because I'm playing the piano, but if you would, it, normally in the classroom, I would be standing with you and I'd be playing the piano standing, but I, with making this recording, it's a, a little bit better to do it this way. So don't worry, you're gonna sit down in a little bit, but it's just better whenever you're standing, you can align your body to efficiently use the air. It, it just takes care of itself. When you're sitting, not so much. And we're also, when you're sitting, um, you're right by your computer, you might be doing something on the computer or something, just step away for a moment. Believe me, you're gonna be, it's gonna be a lot better if you do that, okay? All right, so, um, Mommy made me bash my M&M's tall. side of your cheek and gently not like that <laughs> you're gonna be just gently putting it here and watch what happens it's up and down instead of because you don't when you sing mommy made me bash my m &Ms, the sounds leaking out and going this way and it's not blending with the people beside you it's not tuning you're not creating space but whenever you do this Mommy made me mash my m &Ms. There's a height to your voice and it gives it a place to resonate to. All right. So make sure that you're really starting to, I want you to make this a habit. You're going to do it so much that it's a habit. Um, so do this for me. Your turn. Notice up and down. You might want to, uh, at some point, not right now, but uh, next time you uh, go to wash your hands in the bathroom, wash your hands, look at yourself in the mirror, and go, ooh, 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 instead of, ooh, 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 or, ooh, ooh, ooh. notice a big difference. It doesn't sound as great with that way. Ooh, 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 ooh. Lots of space, all right? Some of the greatest singers of all time are masters of creating space. Some people do it just really naturally, and others, we can we know we can teach creating space and tuning up your voice and making it sound really great. So that's what I'm doing. At a young age, you can you can start this habit. All right, so how about um let's do <laughs> Lots of space. Very nice. And then this one, lots of space, and it's a very legato or smooth you have to stretch like a rubber band Today we're going to start with Be the Change, and I'm going to attempt to put something together, which I hope you appreciate. I used Cami to illustrate where everyone is singing in Be the Change. So we're going to listen to Be the Change starting now, and up on your screens you'll see my version using Cami to illustrate which parts are which. So that's 
uh, what we're going to start off with today, and I'll be right back with another activity. just warm up a little bit using our solfege syllables and our hand signs. I have something new today. Woo! So we're going to move on. You guys have been working really hard. We've gone so slowly and carefully the last few weeks. It seems like we've been doing this for a very, very long time. Just do and re. But I'm introducing a new pattern today. So before I show you what the pattern looks like, let's just get it in our ears first. So here's, we're changing where Do is on the staff. So I'm looking for a G. Do. So Do was D, now it's G. So we're moving it and I'll show you where that is in just a minute. But for our purposes right now, Do. So sing do, do, good job, do, la, do, your turn, do, la, do, my turn, do, la, so, do, Those are the three that we're going to use, okay? So no more Ray for a little while. We're going to be using Do, La, So in our pattern today. So let's mix them up a little bit. Just uh, sing after me. Do, La, Do, Do. Do, La, Do, La. Do, 
so dull. Dull are so, so. Dull are la, so dull. I messed up. Do la la so do. Do la la so do. All right, let's start on so this time. So la so do. So la so So la la so do Do la so so la so All right so here's what they look like I'm going to just show you up on the screen right now. You can see G is on the second line. That's where DO is going to be. So D to E is a minor third. So you're going to go down to LA. As you can see in the country of Hungary, they are using D-O-H-L-A-H. S O H. So that those are really giving you a nice long O and ah sound. All right. That's why they're written that way. In the United States, we don't do them that way. So uh, do, la, and then so is down below the staff. All right. So let's get started with some of the um, some exercises here on our with our time together. So. Now here is the whole entire uh, book again um, for the next page of the book. And we're going to start with number 20. Take a moment and try to figure out which solfed syllable, do, la, or so, do we start on in number 20? If you said do, you are correct. All right, so here's our pitch again. Ready and starting now. Do, do, so, so, do, do, la, la, do, do, so, so, la, la, so, so. Woo, that's a little different, isn't it? Let's do that one again. Ready? Number 20, ready and go. Do, do, so, so, do, do, la, la, do, do, so, so, la, la, so, so. All right, good. And number 21. We start again on do. It's on that second line. We start on do. Ready? Do. One, two, sing it with me. Do, do, la, la, so, so, do, so, do, do, la, la, so, so, la, so. All right, and that was a nice little bell from my cell phone. All right, so now, 22, take a moment. What do we start on in number 22? Is it do, la, or so? It's not do, it is so. All right, ready? So, here we go. And we have eighth notes this time. This is the hardest one yet. Ready, and. So, 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 do, do, do. So, 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 do, do. Do, la, 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 la. La, la, do, do, so, so. Phew! 
hard. I think we should do number 22 one more time. Ready? One, two, ready, and go. So, 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 do, do, do. So, 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 do, do. Do, la, 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 la. La, la, do, do, so, so. If you're getting confused, please forgive yourself. This is very difficult to wrap your mind around. We will be doing these exercises for a little while. You're, you're going to become more comfortable and more literate, music literate, as we go along. And it's not comfortable to do something that you haven't done for a while. Um,